out here in the streets of Arizona. And I'm asking persons a simple question. Since COVID-19 has started, there has been major concerns about the lack of ventilators and hospital beds in hospitals around the world. What recommendation or advice would you provide to hospitals in Arizona? Man, COVID ain't real. They're just hyping this up to make people scared. Good question. Hospitals just need to keep telling people to be safe. Wear a mask, use hand sanitizer, and distance. You know what? In fact, you are a little bit too close to me right now. Back up, back up, back up. Excuse me, Sonny. Sonny, hospitals are, are just giving people vaccines to track people and, and kill their future babies. Sonny, be careful. Well, man, hospitals do not have a lack in equipment. I feel like it's all made up. Everything is fine. Keep doing you, man. Don't worry about Corona. Wow. Is there a lack of ventilators and hospital beds? What recommendation would you give to hospitals here in Arizona? Hi class, Fred here again. Today, my task is to talk to you about creating a statistical report in 10 minutes or less using real life data. The data that we're gonna be exploring is COVID-19 in Arizona. Can you create a statistical report without being biased? Can you create a statistical report by just explaining what the data is saying and making recommendations just from the data without being biased? Today, I'm going to show you how to create this statistical report in 10 minutes or less. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So here is our raw data. Your job is to first define the problem and talk about the outcomes. What is the problem here that we're looking at? There are many hospitals around the world that face the same problems that we faced here in Arizona. Can you take out the bias and just explain what the data is saying? We believe you can. So define the problem and label the outcomes or the possible outcomes within this data set. Then we want you to collect your data. C is for collecting your data. Your task using this data set is to collect 50 data points. Going back to the raw data, we want to talk about organizing your data. We have already organized the data for you. We have created a pivot table of this entire data set. We have 273 days that we have collected data from June all the way to February. Your task is to take this pivot table and put it into your PowerPoint. You need to explain what this pivot table is actually saying using bullet points. Then, visualizing your data. We're going to be using a bar chart to visualize the data. Identify the main points in your data. 
from this bar chart and talk about it, write bullet points about it. You can write more in-depth notes in your notes section within your PowerPoint. So we have how to define the problem, how to collect our data, how to organize our data, how to visualize our data. Now let's get into how we analyze our data. Now that we have our four analyses, your job is to look at this analysis and actually help make informed decisions. So click on the Summary Results tab. Now you guys get to come up with a solution. Look at the data from your individual analyses. Look at the data when you guys combine your data with your group. What is the data saying? What kind of solution, what kind of recommendation, what kind of appeal can you give to your professor, to your classmate, or anyone who may be interested in this data? You can create a statistical report in 10 minutes or less. In this example, we're using a whole bunch of analysis to help us make informed decisions. You can do it. Get rid of the biases. You can explain this data based on what the data is actually saying. Provide some kind of solution, some kind of recommendation to help make informed decisions. You can do this. Let's go. Good job, class. Excellent. I know our students will continue to enjoy your video. Good job.